Okay, get everything together here. Well, I can only see things from far because I'm here in South Africa. Uh, but you know, there's this clip going around with, uh, I think it's Anna Presley from uh, the Massachusetts Post or whatever, Massachusetts Congressperson. And uh, she's grilling uh, Ben Carson Jr. Is, it, is he, a, he a junior? Ben Carson, whoever. This surgeon. That's what he's noted for. I'm only noted for, you know how I know Ben? Not how, I don't actually know. I know him for that because that's what people say. But I only saw his books about God and stuff like that because there's some evangelicals, you know, the, these, uh, you know these, these African Christians, you know, they're into him. Because, uh, you know, you put a black face on something, you know what I mean? And people, they just think it's the United States, you don't see it. But this goes worldwide. And so all these evangelical Christians, whatever, they love their Ben Carson because he wrote some book about God or whatever. Has somebody pushed that on me? I said, nah, I'm not, I'm not into it. But I mean, I don't, I don't, it's a book about, you got, I don't know. It's, they use it, right? That movement, which probably explains more why he's in the Trump administration than anything else because he's certainly not in the right spot. He's a, he's a surgeon, he's a whatever, he's a medical person. Why is he in housing? Whatever, because he grew up in the projects, I think. Did they say he grew up in the projects? I don't know, but different project experiences are different project experiences, and sometimes, you know, I'm going to get into that one of these days. But there's one thing, especially about the Trump administration, that I didn't, that I was, um, I, I, I took, not the Trump administration, but the Republicans, look, the politicians in general, forget the Trump administration, we talk about the powers that be. I said a long time ago, the aim, I, about, I learned this from a book that was, that was talking about something in the 20s, how they had formulated this whole process, I think it was around the Federal Reserve, that whole time when they were, these, the, the, um, the powers that be were plotting to make sure that they stay entrenched and be powerful throughout the centuries, right? Throughout the decades and centuries. And I said, it's trick is just to put incompetent people in place. And if you're incompetent, you don't know what to do, you, that's it. The same thing happened here in South Africa. When they took the chiefs, and you know, the, the, you grew up to be a chief, and then you, they're taken away, and then the, 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 another kin who didn't grow up to be a chief, they put him in place, you got an idiot in place. They, so you, idiotic things happen when you put idiots in place, okay? When I say idiots, I mean idiots in that field. Look, let me give you an example. Here in South Africa, they have those things about elders and blah, 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 blah. I think I told you the story before. Well, the guy, when it, the guy that invited me down here to South Africa to do a workshop because to do a workshop in radio, so I do audio drama. Um, at one particular point, you know, for years I've known him, and then for one particular point, he said to me, "I don't know what was happening." He says, "I'm your elder," and I looked at him. And I said, "I said you might be my elder as age-wise. He's only like five years older than mine, but as far as this field, audio drama, <laughs> there's none." <laughs> And he just, he, he had to think for a second, but he knew exactly what I'm saying. So in your field, you could be an elder in your field. But if you put yourself somebody in another field, that doesn't mean they're an elder in that field. Let me give you a better example. Let me give you a better example. Here we go. Let me stay in South Africa. Samara Michelle was the, 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 the liberator and first president, first leader, head of state of uh, Mozambique. You know, the, you know, the flag that always has the, uh, that has the, uh, we cut the, the, the AK-47 in there, in the thing. Oh, my, my flag's on the other one. Anyway, I always point that out. So Samara Michelle, his wife is Gracia Michelle. Now she was a she was she was a freedom fighter too. You know, she could she could strip an AK-47. Uh, 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 Samara Michelle gets killed. You know, we won't say, him, but, but he's off the scene. He's off the board, as as we as we a and ADUS uh, like to say, as Yvette Cornell uh, points out, he's off the board. And so she ends up at some particular point marrying, you know, Madiba, you know, uh, uh, the the first the, the the first president, the first head of state of South Africa, uh, you know. So here's a woman who who was who was a, a liberation fighter, who was basically married to two, two most powerful, one of the, the two of the most powerful Africans ever, you know. That's Gracia Michelle, right? In fact, just because let me put it this way, um, Gracia Michelle could field strip an AK-47. Does that make her, and she's married to two presidents, does that make her qualified to be uh, the president of a country or, or the president of the African Union? It sure does. But would, you, would, would she do that? You, you understand what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> you have to put the people in place that, that have not Okay, let's, let, me, let me get off of that. My point, my only point is, uh, if you don't go after the, the, the strategies and tactics, then you're going after personalities. And... They, they can just take that personality and put another personality in. Everybody wants a, a Trump. You want to uh, impeach Trump. What for? You know what he's about. You know what? You shouldn't be dealing with him at all. You should be dealing with his programs, what he's doing. He keeps on distracting you. The first thing, the, 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 in fact, not, he's not even distracting you. 
the media, the, the whole, the, the masters are, are distracted. The supremacists are distracting you. I'm saying you because they ain't distracting me. I'm very clear. So the first thing they get you two and a half years on, or two years or three years on Russia, and uh, he's doing all kinds of other things while you're talking about Russia. And now, now the Democrats are, are, are going to form peace. And now you're going to spend all this time on impeachment when you should. It's a distraction. Who cares if he gets impeached or not? The boy gone. He should. You shouldn't be working for his impeachment. You should be working for to elect people in that that would change the whole landscape. Not just him, but all those people. All, all the de right. So why are you giving us times on this impeachment thing? How about electing someone that you don't have to impeach later on? Here's. Let me say. I, let. Me, I don't want to say I admire Donald Trump, but let me put it this way. People don't understand. Donald Trump, they say, they used to say he's a game show host. Well, that's what he does. That's what he is. He is playing you like a game show. This doesn't matter to him. People die. It doesn't matter. It's a game show. And he's a master. He's, that's what he does. You are in his belly wick. Look at, I'm a magician, you know what I mean? Look at what I'm doing over here. Oh, the Russia, oh, they put oh, Russia over there. I'll do this over here, not distracting these, but, and I'm going to do all this other stuff. And people are going for it. I just, it, it, it drives me crazy. <laughs> but here, let me say something about Ben Carson. You may not like it or not. I'm going to say something that you're not going to like. Ben Carson is ADOS to the core. Ben Carson is ADOS to the core. He has an ADOS wife. He's, he's not qualified to do what he does, but when he's in place, he fakes it until it is not made. By the time you you figure this, that, 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 that. But here's the most telling thing. I'm sorry. I don't want to, you can, you, you'll dig up all the data while you think that he's not ADOS to the core. But here's, here's, here's the telling thing. This, I'm, I'm doing this on another level. One thing about ADOS, what we, what black people, what we do, we're cutting cut contests. We know that for them, you know, and, and, and what I call, I call it the smirk. You know, let's call it the ADOS smirk. I used to call it the Anthony smirk. Right? I got a picture. I'm going to show you one of these days. This one is good, like, in your side eye. But you got to move your... And I'm going to look at this again. But Ben Carson did smirks a lot. But he did the ADOS smirk on this line. When she said, when they kept, you know how in the car they say, I yield back my time so they don't take the time off. And then Carson said, I yield back my time. And then she, they stupidly responded to him. He was messing with them. You could see the smirk. He's smirking the whole thing and say, oh, you stupid people. You ask me these dumb questions. All I have to do is do this. And, and I, I know what these congressmen are thinking. And since I'm not qualified anyway, I do whatever I want. And guess what? It's going to come to the same result. Because they're going to be talking about me and sleepy eyed me and whatever have you. I wasn't qualified to be here in the first place. I didn't want to do it. I was pressed me. I got puppets behind me. And, you know, they get their, they get their money. I, I'm getting my money. Everybody, I'm protecting myself. I'm, I'm, I'm ADOS individually, but I'm not ADOS to, you know, pull a cover off all the masses and do whatever I do. And that's part of the problem. All these Congress people, all these people in place, they know. They know, they know, they know. Once fell sweep, they should stop doing what they're doing and advocate only for ADOS. Okay? That's not what they're doing. And they know what the, they, they, they know, they know, they know. They're just not telling us. They're not, they're being disingenuous. I like that word, disingenuous. So there you go. You know, believe it or not, our job right now is, look, when we find an ADOS person, you hold them to that fire. All you have to do with Ben Carson, anybody like that, and all these puppets behind it, the Tom Sewells and all those people, they just hit him with the facts, hit him with the ADOS facts, and let them, you can see them writhe and smirk and all they want, but, th but they will no longer be valid. You have to remember, these people are being validated other places on the planet. You think Obama was did something bad to ADOS? Then he's going to do something bad to black people all over the planet. He's the face of the the the, the new uh, NBA, the African League. He's the face of that. They still well, actually, it's interesting because a lot of Africans understand. They treat them. They're starting to treat them like 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 Madiba. He, he like the Madiba. You think of Madiba, but there's an underlying thing where we say, Nah, 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 nah. This is a person that's leading us leading us to the slaughter. But anyway, I digress. 
So what am I saying? I'm saying, like, hey, have, again, I'm saying, have the, all the fun you want between now and the first debate or, or, or the, 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 the July 4th. The after, then you got to get really serious and ignore ignore all these things. It's, even if, it's, if I don't even res, respond to comment on comment sessions, you know, when I'm reading somebody, somebody's response to my comment, they, I think they're stupid. I just leave it alone. They don't answer them. You, you write and put your details down. I, I've taken to almost like every time I do something, I say like ADOS and I put, you know, the, the, web, the website, you know, www.ados101.com. I mean, uh, just anything, right? Anyway. But did, stop responding to these things. That they, there's this thing in corporate America, they say they can shovel more, they can sh shovel more dung down you than you can handle. That's what they can do. They can shovel, they can bury you in dung. <laughs> And cost of the rest of them, they're done. If you don't know that everything's being pushed in place just to dismantle the whole, the whole uh, the external, um, extra governmental system, if you don't understand that, and if it doesn't matter who you, it is, it. Okay, I'm, I'm through. I'm winding myself up into a, a tizzy here. I mean, T. From the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. From a desk of the ADOS, American Descendants of Chattel Slavery. This tea has a little cinnamon in it today. Mm.